Have you ever kept an ex on the back burner while dating other men? Let's say you keep in touch with that person and he makes you feel desired and attractive and he keeps you from feeling lonely before you meet the right guy. So in this video, I'm going to share why keeping someone on the back burner can actually sabotage your search for love. I want to begin with a story. Lisa, and that's not her real name, was a client and she was having a hard time letting go of a few of her exes. When we first started working together, she told me about a man that she still speaks to pretty often. He was someone she had dated for a while. She's not dating him anymore. He doesn't live nearby. And she said, he's a great guy. He's fun to talk to and having him in my life keeps me from feeling lonely. And when I asked her for some more details about this so-called great guy, she said, well, he's a wealthy CEO, he's really impressive, and he's sexy, and we really had a lot of fun together, but he's not very reliable. Now, she had told me he's like a great friend, and I'm like, what makes him a great friend? Well, he's not really reliable. And when I was recovering from surgery, he didn't call to see how I was. And he's made many promises to come and visit me, but he doesn't follow through. He's in the middle of a contemptuous divorce and on and on and on. So she was keeping this guy on the back burner, but he really wasn't adding value to her life. So through the work we did together, she finally let him go. And opening up a space to other men, she began dating better potential partners. Keeping your ex on the back burner can lead to a lot of issues in your love life, even if you don't plan to jump back into bed with them. And here are here's why. If you're keeping an ex on the back burner, you probably don't care enough about him to actually date him again. The back burner is where we put men we have dated in the past because it can feel better than being alone. We keep men there until we find someone better. And there are many problems with this strategy. Here are the top two. Number one, you're not being fair to your ex. He might want something more than you do. And the back burner might be giving him some false hope that it's just a matter of time before you want to date him again. Think about it. How would you feel if you were on the back burner of somebody else? And number two, you're not being fair to yourself. If you don't love him and you never see yourself with this guy again, having him in your life is going to keep you from moving on to find somebody who's a better match. It's going to sabotage every relationship because you are still connected to the guy on the back burner. Having that plan B gives you an option to bail when things with somebody who's new don't work out or when they start getting real, maybe there's conflict. You're like, hey, I've got plan B in the back burner. I don't really need to work so hard with this guy who's right in front of me. That's one of the ways we sabotage. And another is we just don't look, you know, we just keep this guy in the background and it keeps you entertained enough not to have to look for somebody else. So I want you to be honest with yourself. And if you're just keeping a guy around because you're bored, or you're lonely, or you're hoping that someday he will become the right partner for you, I want you to let him go. Because when you release that guy, you're going to make space for your true last first date. So if this has ever happened to you, please leave a comment and let me know. Let me know how this video helped you and I would love to hear from you.